going on guys? Dale here back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to sex your ball python. Now this applies for hatchlings, which we're going to be doing today, or if you just got a new ball python that may be an adult and the person who sold it to you wasn't a breeder or did not know the sex previously, did not ask the breeder, they weren't using it for breeding purposes. Now, the, knowing the sex is pretty much only for breeding purposes. There are not really any health benefits, and you can't even tell uh, based on pattern, based on any physical features of the snake, whether they are male or female. So today I'm going to show you the safest way to, to see if your ball python is a male or a female, and we're going to do that by probing, and we'll get into that, but I want to just kind of explain the, there's another way to uh, kind of do testing on a snake to see if they're a male or female. So one way to do that, I'll just grab one out. This is Mrs. Scarface. Miss Scarface is a lesser pinstripe. And uh, one way people do test snakes on whether they're male or female is by applying pressure to the tail and basically popping out if, they, if they're a male, they have two hemipenes that will pop out, and if they're a female, nothing will pop out. Um, this can be harmful to the snake, and I wouldn't recommend doing it, and uh, we should actually probably stop doing it in the hobby just because probes are so cheap. You can get a probe kit for about $20 on Amazon, um, and then all you need is Vaseline or some sort of glue to, uh, water-based glue to use on the snake. Um, so without further ado, we can kind of get into the hatchlings and uh, we'll talk about them and then we'll sort of go by and we'll sex them. I'll get that written down. I'll show you how I catalog that and then we can basically go from there. Pinstripe calico that we hatched back in June and this is going to be our first subject to see whether we have a male or female. Um, when I start off, I just use orange tags, orange post-it notes, and uh, then I switch to a blue or a pink post-it note to replace whether it's a male or female instead of writing M or F. That's another way I could do it, though, is just using one single post-it note. Um, just keep that in mind if uh, that's something that you're interested in with uh, record keeping. Um, so without further ado, we'll go ahead and get to showing this beautiful snake. Alright guys, there isn't any super easy way to do this, so I'm just going to have to hold up the snake and show you from there. But first of all, I just wanted to show you, this is the probe kit, you get it from Amazon for about 20 bucks. Um, free delivery if you got Amazon Prime, whatever. Um, so the probe we're going to be using, here's the inside, and they come with all different sizes. The larger ones are obviously for boas, reticulated pythons, any other sort of large reptile. Um, today we're going to be using this very, very small one. There's actually two that came with it. I don't know what happened to the other one. I think I was using it to poke holes uh, for ventilation. Um, that could be it. Because that, that's an easy way to do it if you don't want to have like jagged edges when you're doing ventilation in your reptile. Uh, just go ahead and heat up a probe and poke it into the plastic. I wouldn't recommend using the probe ever even though. Um, every time I probe, I do sterilize after the entire session, but in between snakes I do not sterilize, it's not really necessary, you're using um, Vaseline or some sort of water-based gel uh, lubricant that will uh, do the bulk of any bacteria, because we're going to wipe, we're going to go ahead and wipe this clean on a paper towel whenever we get uh, done with each snake. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and get some Vaseline on here, we'll go ahead and take the snake. And all you want to do is kind of work that tail a little bit and it's kind of showing you where the two spurs pop out at the tail you can go in on the left or the right side and if it's a male it will go in for a fairly long way So that's going to actually probably be a female. So I'm counting the scales. If it's about three, two to three scales, it's a female. Um, from that, from the, where you insert the probe. So this is actually looking more like seven or eight scales. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this is a male. I'm going to, I'm going to double check 
uh, before I even breed it, but I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is a male. And so I clean this off. Go on to the next snake. This is a fire snake, single gene fire that was born in July. You can see the colors on this. Woo Isn't that a fucking ripper right there? Look at the belly. Gotta love that fire pattern. And the fire, uh, you'll see it, the next snake is actually a super fire. They turn into, uh, when you get two fire genes together, like a male and a female fire gene, combined to make a baby, you can get a super fire, which is an all-white snake, and those are just absolutely stunning, as you'll see uh, in just a few minutes. So we'll go ahead and do this one. Come on. It's a lot easier to do when they're relaxed, too. Hang in there, buddy. Falling out on me. Sometimes they'll tense up, you just kind of got to work with them, let them relax and this one's going up about seven scales too so I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is a male as well um, male fire so we'll go ahead and get that one put away probe cleaned up be back found it so I'm gonna go ahead and spray this down with some chlorhexidine wipe it off Chlorhexidine is just an anti-disinfectant, antibacterial, gets rid of negative and positive um, bacteria. And for the last, but not least, not least at all, this is my whole bag. This is my favorite snake uh, ever. I produced this uh, born July. It's beautiful. This is the Super Fire. Go ahead and let that show. All white snake. Black eyes, black eyed leucistic. It's got a beautiful head pattern. Stunning, stunning orange on it. Just look at that. Just look at that. That's against my shirt oh my god all right so without further ado i'm hoping this is a female Ooh. all right let's see Letting me go in. Hmm. Let me go ahead and say that's a female. We'll keep an eye on it. Alright, guys, so after that, we figured out that we ended up with two males, which was the pinstripe calico and the fire, and then one female. I hope. I'm going to double check. A couple more weeks. It was close. It was, it was like four four scales. It was like four scales. And that's a bigger snake, so it was clear clearer to see. Um, that, he, that one was born bigger. So, without uh, wasting any more time, don't forget to hit that like button and smash subscribe. And turn the post notifications on so that you get my videos. And have a wonderful day.